Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of December. Keep in mind, this reading may or may not be for you, and it could resonate at any time in December. I often will get a comment underneath that says, I came back to this. I didn't think it resonated. And I came back to it because I remembered it and it did. So just keep that in mind. So let's just see what we got here. What do we have for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for some time in December. What do we got for Leo? The World card. So this is a major new beginning. Something is completing. This is a lesson learned, Leo. This is something ending. This is a major ending. This is a phase that is ending in your life. So this is a big completion. Some sort of, this could be a marriage, a graduation, um, a job that you've been at for 10 years or whatever. This is something that was very prominent in your life that is over, done. It's done. It's, it's the end, okay? So yes, this is a this is a major completion. So we have a cycle that is completing. Okay? It's the end of something. But and, and this is and, and a wreath is a symbol of victory after sorrow. So you can chalk this up to a lesson learned. Okay, so there has been a lesson that has been learned. Something big is done over. Ooh, two of swords. Somebody has been refusing to see the truth. Seriously. Okay, that is that is a card of avoiding the truth. Blocking the truth. Choosing not to see the truth. So, yeah, we've had somebody here that has been keeping their eyes closed, right? Not wanting to see. Wearing a mask. Wearing a mask. Living in some sort of illusion. Um... There's a choice, though. We have a choice to either continue to close your eyes or wake up. What's it going to be? I mean, you can choose not to see your, the truth or you can choose to open your eyes. The choice is yours. Choose your choice. This is from darkness to light. This is duality, okay? This is from darkness to light from conflict to balance you know it's it's one way or the other what are you gonna do do you want to be conflicted or do you want to be balanced do you want to live in darkness or do you want to live in light do you want to be sad or do you want to be happy the choice is yours you have to make a choice it's like the truth is in within is within reach but you're just refusing to accept it so we have a, we have a, we have a decision that needs to be made. Do you want to accept the truth or not? This is a card of a denial. Queen of Wands, that is you. I feel as though you have a lot of strength. You have a lot of strength within you. You have a lot of uh, ability to start fresh. This is an opportunity to start fresh. That's the Ace of Wands in our hands. That is a fresh start. It's like they have given you an opportunity to start fresh. This is an opportunity to take a new adventure. To get creative. To do something new. See the little dog? Maybe you just take your little dog and go. I don't know what that means, but... This is an opportunity to start fresh. <laughs> take a new adventure. Go, go somewhere. Do something. 
This is like, I mean, if you think about the, the Queen of Wands, this is, this is, this is to take charge, to uh, evolve, do something you've never done before. Oh, I don't know if you're dealing with a child. We could have a child here that is up, upset or says something that they couldn't, shouldn't say. You know, this is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is somebody who doesn't think before they speak. This is a conflict. This is a message you don't want to hear. Somebody could be delivering a message that makes you defensive because when I saw this I thought defensive as well you may be on the defense you may be wanting needing to protect yourself you may feel like you need to protect yourself for some reason it feels like there is you may be dealing with a child who a Libra Gemini Aquarius that is causing you some problems This, pop, this could be like your little problem child or something like that. I'm not saying that you have a problem child, but this is somebody who speaks without thinking. You know, they're very um, curious. So this, you know, they just, just do things without thinking. Ah, four of swords reverse. This is a dead end. This is somebody that is ill. Very, very, very ill. Very sick. You may be around somebody that is very sick. This is, there's some kind of illness here. Needing to take a break. Needing to recover. Somebody needs to go through a recovery with the Four of Swords. There's health issues here. Maybe you need to regain your strength or something. Somebody needs to regain strength. There's a level of weakness here with this card. There's definitely going to be some sort of communication or messages that you don't want to hear with this Page of Swords. This is somebody who speaks without thinking. They just tell it. They just speak. They, it's like they sing like a canary. Is that a canary? I don't know what a canary looks like. Yeah, that might be a canary. I don't know. I'll have to look up. But anyway, um, it's like they sing. They just they just tell it. And I feel like whatever they're going to say, it's the truth. There's illness here. There's sickness here. There's weakness. Five of Pentacles reversed. Now, this is the end of a darkness, dark period. This is coming out of abandonment. Somebody has been abandoned or they're feeling abandoned. There's abandonment issues here, perhaps. Getting help. Somebody's going to be getting some help. Maybe asking for help or getting some. Somebody's getting some help. Coming out of a situation where they were abandoned or neglected. We have somebody here that is very, very, very overwhelmed, burdened. Sorry about that. <laughs> I do apologize. <laughs> somebody may be flushing the toilet a little bit too much. <laughs> you know, maybe they're puking in the toilet. Anyway, um... This is somebody, seriously, I don't know where that came from, but it just came out of my mouth, didn't it? This is sickness. There's sickness here. Anyway, um, Ten of Wands, this is, this is overwhelmed. Very burdened. Carrying something heavy. Carrying a heavy load. About to collapse. It feels like somebody is about to collapse. Taking on too much. But this is the end. It is. This is the end of something that you are holding on to. It's the end of... This is a completion. So I think we have somebody here that is in need of rest and rejuvenation. 
after trying to take on too much, after trying to prove themselves for some reason, because this person's trying to prove themselves. It's time to take a break. It's time to relax. It's time to rest. It's time to recover from the situation where there was abandonment or you were left behind or somebody was left behind. It's get help. Somebody's be going to be getting help. Ooh, we've got a midlife crisis here. Somebody really needs to heal. They definitely need to take a break. Definitely. It's break time. Definitely. With the Four of Swords reverse and the Hermit reverse. And this somebody is seri in serious need of uh, recuperation. Uh, reflection, recovery, maybe even rehab. It feels like somebody is in d deep, deep need of healing and um, they need to really drop something that they are carrying. You know, they need to release. They need, they really need to, uh, they need help. We got somebody here that needs help. And they're sick. They're very sick. And I feel like uh, it's time. It's time for recuperation. It's time to recover. It's time to take a break. And I think this break time is, 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 is significant. It's a significant period of time. Um, <laughs> what is this page of swords reversed? So this is darkness and this is darkness. Somebody has been in a period of darkness and same here. And it's like it's time. It's time to bring that shine back. It's time to heal seriously. Ooh, we got a competition here. We have a conflict. There's going to be a conflicting message that comes through this month that is going to uh, make you feel very conflicted. You, it may definitely make you put your guard up, be on the defensive, make you want to fight. There could be a fight. There could be some kind of battle. There's definitely going to be some power struggles here. Somebody has been clinging to control, wanting to control, not wanting to release control. Trying to stop something from changing and it's really hurting them. It's causing them too much stress and stress kills. Trying Putting in effort into something that isn't meant to be. It's like somebody is trying to put in effort into something that isn't meant to be. No kidding. No kidding. So we got we got somebody here that is so involved in a comp competition that they don't realize that it's hurting them. It's hurting them trying to prove themselves. It's causing them more of a burden when all they should really just go their own way. But we got somebody here that is refusing to go their own way because of the competition, because of their need to win or to prove themselves or something. Unable to see the truth, but we do have something that is coming to an end. We have a cycle that is coming to an end, no matter how hard whoever it is is trying to stop it from happening. It's like somebody's trying to fight to stop something from happening, but it's it's going to end. It is definitely going to end. So um, somebody is working really, really hard trying to prove something. But there's going to be a rejection. There is definitely going to be a rejection. <laughs> yeah, somebody definitely hasn't been telling the truth. Somebody's been lying. Not telling the truth. Not telling the truth. Not telling the truth. Somebody is definitely, definitely, definitely not telling the truth. Okay? So we have an untrustworthy individual here that doesn't tell the truth. They don't act with integrity. They're abusive mentally, verbally. Could be neglectful. Somebody is, is neglectful. Um, they're clinging to control. Very hard and uncaring. Doesn't care who they hurt. It's all about proving a point. Whoever this person is that is trying to prove a point is going to uh, 
face some sort of midlife crisis. That is the hermit reversed. They are... It's like somebody is going to tell. Somebody is going to tell something with the Page of Swords reversed. Yeah. They're going to tell something. This is about the chaos, the upheaval. We have somebody here that is trying to juggle trying to do too much seriously somebody here that is trying to 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 do something that they are not supposed to do it's like just let it go just let it go <sighs> wow 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 and it's all about the competition so we have somebody here that wants to prove themselves so bad that they're they're it's like they're going to work themselves to death I think that you are going to be uh, to adapting to some changes, okay? This is adapting. You're going to need to be flexible this month. There could be a uh, an issue with children, the Six of Cups reversed. There's two children here, and there's two pentacles here, so it could be two children. I don't know if there's going to be a loss. But there's, there's a need to adapt, need to be flexible. There's going to be a change. There's definitely going to be a change. You may, Somebody is definitely clinging, clinging to control, clinging to the past, clinging to the memories. And it's very unbalanced situation here. We have, it's like your balance is waiting for you. It's time for you to find balance. It's time for you to recover. You really need to take a break. You, you seriously need to step back and take a break. Seriously, with the Hermit Reverse and this Four of Swords and all this imbalance, I'm telling you what, somebody seriously needs to step back and take a break. And, and and just get out of this situation, whatever it is. Really, seriously, go your own way. Take some time. Take a time out, Leo. You need a time out. Seriously, it's like it's, things are so unbalanced. It's too much. It's too much. You are definitely trying to do too much, and it's and it's it's gonna it's stress kills. I'm telling you what. There could be an accident. I'm just saying. Somebody, there could certainly be an accident. You definitely need to, to, to take a step back. But we have somebody here that is definitely on the defensive. And it's like, no, I want to fight. I want to fight. I want to fight. I got to prove myself. I got to prove myself. I got to prove myself. And I think this wanting to prove yourself is going to, it's not going to bring you a reward. This is bad luck. The Wheel of Fortune reversed is bad luck. It's going backwards. It's stuck. It's going to keep you stuck. You have an opportunity to start over. That is a fresh start in your hand. This is an opportunity to recover, go in a different direction, try something new. But if you, if you don't take a minute to step back and reflect on what your future holds and what you're supposed to do and think about destiny and this and that, if, you do, if you're moving so fast, <laughs> You're going to run into something that is bad luck. That is bad luck. We got somebody here that is not being honest. They are not telling the truth. They're in a state of denial. They don't want to see the truth. They don't want to accept the truth. And the reason they don't want to accept the truth is because they got to prove themselves. It's about ego and pride here. But the overall energy for this reading is the, is the world card, which is a major completion of a cycle. Something that you have have had in your life for a period of time is coming to an end. And it's time for a new beginning. It's time for your new life. It's time for you to start over. It's time for you to travel. It's time for you to experience new things. It's time for you to leave the past behind. It's time for you to um, step out of this situation and stop holding on. Um, but we have somebody here that is going to fight. They are going to fight, and, and their fight is going to bring them backwards. <sighs> it is. This is bad luck. 
okay, fighting destiny. It's going to bring them backwards. Um, we do have somebody here that is going to bring about some sort of conflict and there could be some sort of loss out of out of this person it's like this person is going to cause chaos this person whoever this person is that talks is going to cause upheaval in your life it's going to cause change this person speaking is going to cause a change this is a change okay could have something to do with children somebody hasn't been aware they they've been in a state of darkness because they've been refusing to see <clears throat> refusing to acknowledge that they need to step out of this race or whatever but it's it's like you know i think it's break time for you there could be a court ruling that goes not in your favor Okay, this is a judgment or a <clears throat> legal issue that um, does not go in your favor. So you might be dealing with that this month. Especially if you are so unbalanced, if this is so unhealthy and it's clear, then, I mean, this is bad karma. Okay, so somebody could be dealing with some karma. Um, because of their lack of integrity. There's definitely lack of integrity here. Somebody is going to be getting some sort of bad karma for their lies and their deception and their inability to um, care. It's like, I just don't care who I hurt. It's about proving a point. So I think that there's going to be some sort of uh, bad karma that is delivered to whoever this person is that... Uh, is wanting to fight because of this five of wands. This is a fight. It's a battle. This is bad luck. This this is bad luck and this is bad karma. This is a judgment or a, a case or a legal matter not going in your favor. So somebody, something is not going to go in your favor. There's a lot of imbalance here. There is... Somebody is really unbalanced and I feel like there's no return. There's, there's, there's no return of whatever this is. It's like you need to take a break. You need to take a break. You need to take a break. You need to back up. You need to go into recovery. You, it's time to recover. And it's, it's like somebody that is refusing to recover. It's almost like they're going to be forced. They're going to be forced to end this. They're going to be forced to let go. I think something is coming to a complete halt with this Wheel of Fortune reverse. Something is going to end abruptly and it's going to change your life. But I think you have the strength to get through it. And this might lead you down a new path that is more exciting anyway. And so Leo, I feel like There is some sort of lack of accountability here with that justice card. There's a lack of accountability. Somebody doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions, but the truth is going to come out. And I think that the truth is going to come out, it's like inadvertently, it's like somebody just reveals the truth and it causes a huge crisis and it feels like the crisis is for you. I'm sorry to say. There's going to be a crisis this month with that hermit reverse. That is a midlife crisis. And I think it has to do with children. Um, and you're going to be like, oh my God, this is overwhelming. There, And I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. You're going to have to be flexible. You're going to have to adapt to some sort of changes. But whatever this is, this is this is a lesson that needed to be learned. And it's going to lead you down a, a new path. It really is. We have a major new, be the very first card. We have a major new beginning here. 
You've learned something big. A new chapter is starting in your life. One is ending and one is beginning. But we got somebody here that is refusing. Seriously refusing. I refuse. I'm clinging to this. I'm holding on. Well, that person, whoever the person is that is fighting and battling and wanting to compete and not letting the wheel spin, that person's going to get bad karma. And it is not going to be pretty. It is not. For the person that is choosing to take a break and let this go and drop it, that person has a new adventure waiting for them to step in, step into, step into line, step into the new life. We have somebody here that wants to hold on to control and cling to control and not allow change. That person, ha, doesn't look good. Bad luck, bad karma. Things going downhill fast. Backwards. Inability to open up. And take new approaches and see things clearly and accept the truth <laughs> is going to bring you bad luck and bad karma. If something is over, it's over. I think we have somebody here that uh, is needing to take a break. And I mean a big one, like four to six months recuperation by yourself. Good luck. 